Hey YouTube, it's Evan. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be another installment of Herb Saturdays and we are going to be doing chamomile, aka the ground apple. And as you guys know, I have my cue card. Um, somebody did comment that, oh, well the reason why she has cue cards is because she doesn't know what she's talking about. No, I do know what I'm talking about. This is just so I kind of better organize, you know, like what I'm saying so I'm not jumbling around like, oh, this is the element, oh, this is the, the power flow, and then, oh, this is the part you use. Like, I want it to be, you know, all kind of consecutive and concise. So that's why I use cue cards, for those of you wondering. Um, I don't really feel like I should have had to explain that because all of you guys are totally fucking awesome and kind of have brains and realize that, but some people don't. Um, anyway, chamomile, a.k.a. the ground apple, is governed under the water element. <clears throat> Ugh, the water element and the planet is the sun. The parts you use is obviously the flowers, but I suppose you could use the roots too for various other things. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can use roots for roots from any kind of plant. So um, now the power flow is for prosperity, meditation, blessings, healing, love, and spirit work. This is another reason why I have little index cards and stuff is because some of the things is just, you know, it's so much information and I don't want to miss anything out or screw anything up. So I just kind of, I write it down so it better helps organize my brain and stuff. So anyway, ways that you can use chamomile are you can put it in an incense for prosperity or healing or love or um, protection, anything like that, meditations as well as you can use it in a tea to help promote prosperity. So I guess you can tell that the trend, if you will, of chamomile is definitely prosperity. Prosperity and like success, those kind of things are really governed under chamomile. If you are having problems within your business or your career, um, even school, then you can you know use kind of like a little focus spell or a prosperity or a, su a success spell and definitely add chamomile to that and you will definitely see the results. Um, also, of course, you can dress candles with it for love or prosperity or protection, purification, um, and you can also sprinkle it around the garden to attract fairies. I actually read that in a book. Let me grab it. Uh, these books, which you guys have seen. Um, this one is The Secret Craft of the Wise, Magical Herbalism by Scott Cunningham. This is what it looks like. It's just softback. And if you want to purchase this book, you can purchase it from the Llewellyn Worldwide website. And it is $12.95 US dollars. So it's very affordable and it has tons of information. So that's where I've been getting a lot of um, like deeper, more in-depth information about specific herbs is from this book as well as this book um, now when I was reading in the Scott Cunningham book about chamomile I was really surprised well not really surprised I was kind of like that's really interesting when he mentioned you know if you sprinkle it around your garden it will attract berries and things because a specific location where I live is there's a little chamomile like a wild patch of chamomile growing up in the middle of nowhere like middle like 10,000 feet above elevation like really extremely high and like it's like a little fairy forest I call it the fairy forest because every time I get there it's like there's wild strawberries and there's baby's breath and there's chamomile and there's you know there's rose hips there's columbine flowers like it's just it's like fairies live there and I was like that would make sense you know that would definitely make sense so I planted some chamomile in my garden and it's I really hope it takes off I'm really super excited and I'm really excited for fairies to come I'm definitely welcoming fairies and stuff like that so um, you can also add it of course to candles for love and prosperity I don't know if I already mentioned that and healing and things like that when I personally use chamomile I really like to use it in spells especially um, definitely prosperity like mentioned and also spells that involve healing I'm I'm a water sign and I primarily work with healing like that's m mainly the kind of magic I perform is healing magic and protection magic 
and I really definitely notice a change. I, I feel like it's a little more oomphed up when I put in the chemo, especially if you if you are collecting it wildly when you're collecting it you know you're asking mother earth you're repaying her by either planting seeds or leaving her something that's organic you know like an apple or something like that while you are collecting the herb and you enchant it you know just with your energy and it, it just it definitely makes it i feel like when i add it especially when i personally harvest it, it makes the spell just that much more worth it and that much more successful and i really definitely noticed that pattern so if you are near an area where caramel grows or any other herb that you particularly are interested in, um, definitely ask Mother Earth and of course all the realms, the gnomes and the fairies and things like that, as well as, you know, your spirit guides, you know, to harvest that herb or that plant. And like I said, make sure you repay her with something, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just respectful. You're taking something you know, alive from Mother Earth and, you know, you're not repaying her or asking for permission. So it's always nice to ask for permission and to leave something, like I said, organic, like a little, like a, even just one grape, like a grape or an apple or, you know, something of that nature or, you know, plant a tree or something like that. So yeah, I hope this video is helpful. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these Herb Saturday videos, then give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video, comment below if you have any specific herbs you want me to kind of talk to. And depending on this little series, we'll kind of see if I want to kind of add um, oils to this as well. Um, because oils themselves are all magical in their own ways. So, I don't know. It depends on how many people enjoy this video. Not just this one, but the entire Herb Saturday series. And if you want to see my other two, I've done recently Rose as well as Lavender. It is in my playlists under Herb Saturdays. So, yeah. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to contact me here on YouTube. Or you can contact me via personal email, all lowercase, evan.rose at gmail.com. Um, and Twitter as well. I am now on Twitter. And I will link that in the description bar. So, yeah. Until then, I wish you all lots of light, love, and blessings. And take care.